What a day in the market today. Okay, the SPY down over 0.6%, QQQ down 2.3%. We got hammered today for the tech stocks. And the reason that we dropped today was a lot to do with Tesla earnings. Okay, Tesla stock is down 9% today, and Netflix stock is down 8.4%. Both of these stocks which reported earnings yesterday after market close. So in this video, I want to go over the analysis for the stock market, what to expect, what to look at, and the stocks that we are watching on the watch list. Subscribe with notifications on, follow me on Twitter, and let's get started. So overall, why did we drop today? Okay, we're taking a look at the heat map, and we can see that Pretty much the whole sector was green. Okay, healthcare was green. Um, we had energy was green. Industrials were uh, was green. The financial sh uh, sector was green. But tech got hammered today and yesterday. And the reason that we got hammered is because of the earnings in play. So keep in mind, okay, that this week we had earnings, and I keep, you know, I kept you guys prepared with SundayStockTalk.com, the weekly newsletter, and we had Netflix earnings and Tesla earnings, and there reported a bad earnings which caused the whole market to drop so we had apple dropping microsoft dropping and the whole tech market just dropped and while rest of the other market was pretty much green so we're taking a look at that and one thing to really keep in mind is even on friday we have a lot of banks reporting and then next week we're gonna have a lot more earnings we're gonna have google apple microsoft and then we're gonna have the top dogs reporting earnings so this is something to be really really careful and to be really really uh understand and you know why the market dropped today so go to sundaystocktalk.com i'm going to keep you guys prepared for next week with the weekly newsletter that's going to drop on sunday so earnings are in play okay that is to watch for the next week and the next couple of weeks now let's go over the spy and what we are taking a look at i got a new look back to my old look i you know kind of refreshed my chart up making it a lot more simpler but just we have two levels we have the 444 level which is our level of support it was a previous level of resistance and that is now the level of support and then we have the level of resistance which which is 459 around 460 which is a major level of resistance so these are the two zones that we are trading between at so since we rejected we kind of dropped down below this is going to be our area for calls and this is going to be our area for kind of the bottom so if we do drop more to the downside this is going to be the area to buy in calls or to buy in shares at so i like this setup um, but overall this is also uh it looks like a bearish uh candlestick right here this one it doesn't look good psychologically so that is what we are taking a look at we also have a gap to the downside so if the market does decide to go to the downside we also have this gap to fill but this is what we are taking a look at we can probably pull off just like a consolidation like we did um in the past here where we consolidated around here uh, before deciding the direction that it uh, decided so that is what we are taking a look at possibly some consolidation that is the case of scenario right now but other than than that if we break above we are bullish and we break below we are bearish and our next level is going to be all-time highs if we do break to the upside. So this is going to be our next zone, just something to keep in mind of um, on here. But that is going to be our next zone. Next, we have the Qs, which is the tech ETF. So really the same thing. The QQQ actually hit the level of resistance right here. And then we peaked, we had Netflix and we have Tesla reporting earnings and boom, we dropped down. 370 is going to be a nice area for calls. So I'm looking to buy in calls for a swing right at 370 because this is a nice level of support. So I really like and love this area to buy in for calls for QQQ. Let's talk about Disney and let's talk about the other stocks that we are in. So again, we talked a lot about Disney on the weekly time frame. Uh, earnings are also coming up for Disney, but we're taking a look again at this massive level of support. But if we take a look closely at the daily time frame, as we 
were expecting, we came back up to test this level of support, uh, this level of resistance, which was the previous level of support. So this is going to be the level that Disney needs to break to be bullish. We really need to hold $87. It really needs to hold this level because this is a critical, critical level of support, especially on the weekly time frame. It needs to hold this level because if we break below, that is a very bad sign, but the chances of that happening is pretty low. So next we have IWM just on the weekly time frame. It still looks good. It just needs to hold this level of uh, support, which was a previous level of uh, resistance. So we really need to hold this level for IWM. But other than that, it looks nice. It looks good. I love the setup on IWM. Okay, snow, same thing. But the problem with snow is that we were looking bullish yesterday. But since we had this massive drop in the market today, we don't look bullish anymore. So we really need to come back um, to the upside above the level of resistance. We really need to be above this level of resistance for it to look bullish. And next, same thing, okay, just like Snow, just like IWM, we need to be above this level of resistance. And it's kind of annoying with the Netflix and Tesla, it pretty much took, you know, the whole market down. And with Autodesk, we need to be above the level of resistance. So this is why the market dropped um, today. You know, make sure to go to sundaystocktalk.com, subscribe with the notifications on. We're trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month. And follow me on Twitter, and see you guys tomorrow.